All right. Uh, we're down in the shop today. I, I wanted to get a video out to you. I, I debated on whether even doing this, uh, but it's pertaining to our, our, our DIY kits that we're, we're gonna make. And for the people that are brand new to this channel, seeing this for the first time, you're gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. So I would say go back and watch our previous videos so you'll get an idea of what we're talking about. But we have got, we've got a lot of response uh, about the kits. Uh, I know you've seen the comments on it, but what you don't see is the emails. We've, we've gotten a ton of emails and uh, all of them good. I've got a lot of people on the list that want the kits. We're still working on what we could come up with a price. But I've gotten a, I tell you, I've gotten a few emails from people that uh, just talking about the price and kind of, I guess you could say, kind of telling us what we need to do and how we need to price our kits. And uh, I just wanted to get this out there and let y'all know this, this is, uh, if you're looking for these kits to be a four or five hundred dollar kit, it, it's not going to happen. We we can't afford to make them uh, for that kind of money. You know, I've said uh, all along, we're going to try to make them as affordable as possible that's worth our while to build them. And that, that is what we're going to do uh, because we don't have, uh, I feel like one of the reasons that we can make them at an affordable price is, is we don't have the money sunk into a lot of big manufacturing stuff. Uh, we don't have a high dollar plasma table or a laser cut machine. We are three guys in a 40 by 40 shop at our house. And uh, we have a we have a plasma cutter. We have a welder. We've got two grinders, a band saw, a chop saw, a tape measure, a punch, and drill. And, and that's what we build this stuff with. So uh, we can afford, I feel like, to build them cheaper. Uh, you know, when you when you get our kit, when you open the box, you you won't see a laser cut line. Uh, we don't have the ability to cut them that. We do a pretty good job, I feel like. Ivan does a real good job cutting these lines. You won't see a powder coat. It'll be painted because all of that stuff costs money. If we had all that built in the kit, the kit would be worth would be more money. And and honestly, I don't think there is a market out there for somebody to sink a bunch of money in manufacturing for these kits for these older vans. Uh, this is not like a Sprinter van that they're producing thousands and thousands of every day. This is something for, uh, you know, vans that haven't been made in years. So the market is just what's out there and the few people that want them four wheel drive. So to sink a bunch of money in manufacturing to produce these kits, you would go in the hole. But we're, we're still working on the on the price. Uh, but like I said, this, this, I think some people are under the impression that this is going to be a four or $500 kit, and it's not. It, it just it can't be like that because, you know, you see what we've done here to, to build them, but you haven't seen what's gone on behind the scenes in the last two and a half years to get to the point that we are. When Seth and I built our first van two and a half years ago, we didn't have any idea what we were doing. We, uh, we didn't even realize that the vans were a unitized construction until we pulled it down here in the shop and got it on the lift and decided to make it four-wheel drive. That was a big, uh, I mean, I, I was shocked. I had no idea because I was under the impression we would pull that van down here, pull the body off of it, find us a four-wheel drive Chevrolet truck or blazer and sit that body on there and boom, we were ready to go. Well, man, that ain't the case. Not only are they unitized construction, these things aren't even centered. The motor in a van is off to the passenger side. So the frame rails going up are, are off. So getting everything centered under the van to make sure everything is right under there took a lot of time. It took a lot of trial and error. We, uh, no, no, there was nothing out there. I, I spent hours and hours zooming in on pictures of people that had four wheel drive vans to just gotta get an idea of the way they made shackle hangers, the way they mounted that stuff, cause there was nothing out there at all. And uh, that first van we made is nothing near like what we do it now. Every van we made have, has evolved a little bit. But with that being said, I can tell you every van that we've done four wheel drive is still on the road today out there riding around with no problems. So we, we've come a long way to get where we are. 
Uh, we've done a lot of stuff behind the scenes, the hours and hours of research and uh, down here in the shop, making sure everything is right. And uh, I know you might be saying, well, God, y'all made so many. Why don't you know a price of what you can do? Well, to make a kit DIY for somebody is a little different than what we do down here in the shop because we have the ability to tweak and, and change things to make it work for what we're doing. And if we're gonna sell you a kit, well, you know, you can't do that. Just this, this is an example right here. These, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna mention that maybe a couple companies uh, that I don't even think they even know we exist, but, and it's nothing bad about the companies whatsoever. These shackle hangers and uh, spring hangers that we get, we get this from a company called Barnes Four Wheel Drive. If you don't know them, they make a ton of stuff. And I mean, awesome stuff. Their, their stuff is great, uh, price is good. So that's why we use these is because we can't build them for as cheap as what we can buy them and make them look this good. But to have a DIY kit now, it looks like we're gonna have to. And the reason why is because there's nothing at all wrong with these parts, we love them. But this is the widest spring hanger they make is three and a half inches from inside to inside. Well, we make our kits to work with square body lift kits so you can go buy any kit off the shelf that you want at any height. And if, uh, say you make your van two inches high in the beginning and two or three years down the road, you wanted to go four or six inches, you would be able to go buy a square body lift kit and, and raise your van up. The problem with that is, is when you get the bushings and the uh, sleeves with your kit, they're almost three and a quarter inches wide. So they won't fit. When those springs and those bushings, they won't fit in here. So what we've been doing, if we've been cutting, cutting them down to fit, well, we can't, we, we can't tell you, to, hey, here's your kit. You buy this uh, lift kit, and, but you're gonna have to cut these bushings to make them fit. So we're gonna have to start making these unless we can find somewhere else that's more cost effective that, that makes them this width. Same thing with the ones in the back. These are set up for the shackles to be three and a half inches. Well, we need almost three and a quarter. So we're gonna have to make these too. So that's that's little things that uh, that we've put into these kits that, that take our time and money to, to make them. So, and we're also in the kit, we're gonna, uh, one of the other things we're trying to work out too, we, we gotta buy all the hardware and get the right bolts. So when you get the kit, you won't, we don't want you to have to run around and start and try to find bolts that go with it. Some of the bolts that you'll use will be the ones that you'll have to use, that you'll save uh, when it comes off of the two wheel drive. So that's one of the things that uh, we're getting together too, getting all the hardware and the bolts and stuff. You know, like I said, we, we don't know where we're gonna be on the kits yet as far as money. Uh, we're gonna make them, if it's not worth our while to make them, we're just not gonna make them. And I wanna, say in a tactful way too there's there's been a lot of people not a lot but there's been a few people that have made some comments of, about the money and you know you well you better get these things down in the right price where the average man can afford them and blah 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 and i'm like you know i i, I there is a difference between what you think is too much and what you can afford and i'm the same way there's been a lot of things and there's a lot of stuff that i want that I can't afford, but I don't bash whoever's making it and say, hey, they're crazy as you know what to think people's gonna say. I don't do that because that doesn't, there's a difference in me not being afforded. If I had the money to buy it, I would buy it. So before you, before you spout off like that, you know, there's just there's just enough there's there's a difference in in, in being able to afford it and in what you think is being too high, uh, and there has been I'm gonna say this too there's another company that out there that makes a bolt on kit. I want you to know right we are not in competition with them. We didn't start making these kits to be in competition with them. Their kit is different than what we use. It's made different, com you know, not completely different. It's similar. Uh, I've had a lot of references to the price of their kit. I don't care what their kit costs. I don't think their kit is priced too high, if you want me to be honest, because I know what goes into making it and making this work. Here's the bottom line. 
That company makes a kit that makes a van four wheel drive. We make a kit that makes a van four wheel drive. You look at both of those kits and you buy the one that's gonna work best for you because we're not in competition with them. We are just three guys down here that enjoy making these vans four wheel drive and been making four wheel drive that have just gotten a lot of messages and emails wanting us to make a kit. So that's why we're making the kit. If, if somebody thinks it's too high, I, I, I get that. But this, you see what we have to work with. We're nothing special. Anybody can do this. If you want to take the time to figure out and do it, this is not rocket science. Anybody can do this. When, like I'd said before, when we started doing this, I, I didn't know anything about it. I was looking at pictures and doing everything. And about halfway in, I found that other kit that was a bolt -on, the bolt-on kit. And I thought, man, this is cool. But when I saw the price, by no means am I saying it was too much. At the time, I could not afford to pay that. So we decided to make uh, our own stuff. But with that being said, I can tell you this. To get to this point, the time, the money, and everything we had, we probably could have bought six of those kits. But we were able to spread that expense over a long period of time to get it to where the point we are now. So, yeah, I just want to throw that out there. It, it, this is something anybody can do if you want to take the time and the money and the expense to figure it out and do it. You can. We have already done that for you. Uh, like I've said, we're going to make it as affordable as possible. We appreciate what y'all have done. We appreciate your support. Uh, I've got a list of people that I'm going to get in touch with and, and get the price out there. And as soon as we have an ironclad price, we're going to get it to you. That's going to be the price. That's what it is. If you can live with it, great. If you can't, we understand because we've got to look at it from a standpoint. We do other stuff, other work in this shop. So if we're over here working on something, making a certain amount of money, We've got to make it to where it's the same income for us to come over here and make a kit as it would be. It doesn't make sense to say, okay, let's don't let's pull away from this one when we're making a certain amount of money to come over here to make less money on this. We, we're just not going to do that. So I don't know. May have been a right thing or wrong thing to do. I just wanted to get that out there and just let people know that uh, you know we appreciate it. We're doing the best we can, and we're going to try to do the best we can. So. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's uh, I guess that's all I've got. Again, thank y'all. Keep liking, keep subscribing. We're gonna keep doing what we do, and uh, we'll try to make it fun and entertaining for you.